it's me hi uh, I'm not saying this will be a good YouTube video I'm just saying that it will be a YouTube video if I remember to record it so uh, I'm working on a Glinda costume from The Wizard of Oz and I wanted to show you the chaos and the drama that uh, making a costume with me entails so <laughs> so this is what i have so far it's practically satin pinned onto a mannequin with a hoop skirt underneath a grand panier hoop skirt situation this is the first time that i ever draped something i'm going to do it a little differently i'm just trying to figure out as i go because i've never done a project on this caliber <laughs> can you shut up please thank you no oh Okay, so my attempts here are to find out how I want to put on the tool. I've seen someone just do it layer by layer. I have quite a lot. I have this one with the stars for on top and I have that um, glitter tool. Um, but we're not going to unpack that if we don't need it. I've seen where people like start at the bottom and they work their way up in like rows. However, I've seen another like cosplayer that did um, Glinda just do it like from the top down. And I think going off the very peculiar like shape that she has, I think it might be the best bet to work that way and else we'll see. So like the only reason I'm recording this whole adventure is not because I'm good at costume making. I do not know where I'm supposed to look. Hello. Uh, I've only made two cosplay costumes, one being um, Anastasia from uh, the, the, the evil stepsister from Cinderella and Alice. And this project is a project far, 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 I don't know where to look, far beyond my um, skill levels, which is why I'm doing it and I'm recording it because it's funny to see my suffering and maybe positive end result uh, and maybe not. Only editing Lottie will be able to tell me. Okay, so I ran out of peach thread. Um, because I didn't really prepare my threads, I thought we had enough. Turns out we did not have enough. So I'm already starting on like the tool layer. Ooh, the camera does pick it up. So uh, it's glitter tool and um, it's the most gorgeous little situation. However, everything and everything is covered in glitter already. So that's going to be uh, a, a mess to clean up. See, it's even in my hair already. I didn't even know how it got there. <laughs> I'm not joking when I said it got everywhere. See, it's on my socks. It's already on the floor, like, spreading, which is terrible. It's all over this fabric. Um, it's a mess, but it looks gorgeous. Look how absolutely stunning. It actually shifts to, like, a green, but you can't really see. Oh, there you go. It's, it switches between colors. And this is the floor. Um... <laughs> This is my cat in the glitter no Hello world! It has been um, forever <laughs> since I last worked on Glinda. Um, but I'm continuing now. I finally have the holidays, which means I have time off. And since uh, the facility that I work at is currently uh, out of work, because of the corona pandemic, uh, I have the whole holidays to work on my costume, so I'm hoping to get it as far as I can. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. So, um, I finished my skirt. I will put up pictures of what it looks like, if I even have pictures. The thing is, um, I'm trying to record as much as I can, but I'm forgetful, so sometimes I simply forget. And the other time I can't record because I do not live on my own. I live with my parents and my brother, um, which makes that uh, there are many people in the same room sometimes making noise. So <laughs> that's not the most convenient for me to film in. But I'm on the floor again with my fabric. And that's my cat toys because I am going to cut out the fabric for my top. Uh, how I want to take 
uh, on that is I have a pattern. Uh, I have multiple patterns of different costumes or different, yeah, different pattern pieces for different clothing thingies. And I'm going to cut out the patterns uh, for this top, like long sleeves and the bodice part. Uh, I am going to take, well, I'm going to have my own take on the bodice because it usually is supposed to be stuck to a skirt and with a zipper, but I'm not going to make it stuck to the skirt. I'm just going to make it live on its own and I'm going to put in a corseted back, but like a soft corset at the back so not with actual boning um, and I've ordered the ribbon and everything I need to make the back piece <laughs> and how I want to take on the top is because um, this is just the fabric by its own and my skirt is layered with three other layers of uh, pink and glitter tool and everything to make it coherent I am going to cut up the pattern on this fabric for uh, the base layer and I'm also going to cut out the same pattern on my glitter tool fabric. Um, I'm not going to use the star fabric on this one because I have a lot of bedazzlements and bejewelments because she has that, Glinda has all that stuff and I'm just going to put that uh, on top so it will still be very busy and coherent. Uh, but not too busy because it would most likely be too busy with the star pattern uh, So that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah So to give you an idea of what I'm going to do with the top I am going to use this McCall's um, Pattern it's for beginners. It's a simple dressmaking pattern and I'm going to use this sleeve uh, this sleeve is very Tight. It's the only long sleeve pattern I have from what I can recall um, It's quite tight for some strange reason because last time I used it on a stretch fabric and it didn't you know It was very tight to my arm. Uh, I want it to be tight to my arm, but this fabric. It's a crepe satin It doesn't Stretch at all or that much. So I'm going to make this a, like a tad bit bigger I'm gonna make it slightly bigger so that I have all the room and space to cut this to my arm and not actually strangle my circulation with a tight uh, sleeve. So then I'm gonna use this Disney princess pattern for a Cinderella dress made by Simplicity. Um, I am going to use the bodice part, so this part, not the sleeve, just the bodice part, which is these two uh, patterns, which are these. I am going to alter the neckline, I'm going to fold it so it's more of a um, V-shape. So I'm going to use this one and this one for the bodice. Uh, you have to cut two of them each. I have already cut these to my measurements because I've made like two dresses using this bodice because it's just, it's an ideal like little, hello focus, hello, it's dark. But anyway, it's like the ideal little bodice. Um, easy bodice, but like good looking bodice pattern thingy. I am, however, going to fold this like inwards um, on a like an accurate line so that I make a V neck because this is for this like uh, square kind of neck. I want it to be a V because Glinda has a V. Then I'm also gonna cut all of this out on the glitter tool fabric and then I'm gonna make a like a like a back panel out of this and the glitter and I am gonna make the sleeves which are going to be these poofy sleeves but then like 10 times bigger because they're absolutely minuscule like tiny and I, Glinda has like hysterically big sleeves so I'm gonna make that out of glitter tool and I'm gonna make like the it's just like sort of a sash at the front like it's a like a late like a cr what do you call gathered layer of tool and I'm gonna make that out of the glitter tool as well. It's all gonna hopefully coordinate nicely and be beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna do that probably off camera. Uh, I might just sew parts of it already together off camera. I'm sorry, but that's how I work. I will keep you updated, however. He does this literally every time. Every time! I wanna sew! 
Boy! I love him though. He's my little helper. <laughs> All right, so um, as you can see, let me get you closer. I did a lot off camera. I'm still in my pajamas. You might see a pattern there because it's very comfortable to sew in your pajamas. So anyway, I put in the sleeves. I just, well, I simply put on, well, I put the whole bodice together. There's a random thread here. So this is what the bodice currently looks like. I'm not gonna put in boning. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, so I put in the sleeves, they're not perfect, I had to do the sleeves twice. Um, over here you see uh, the first attempt at a sleeve, but it was way too small, so I made bigger sleeves. They are a tiny bit short, but then they're also not, so I'm just... It depends on my movement, I guess. Uh, I also put in the puffs and the sleeves, well, I put them in at the same time. This was a hassle and a struggle. Um, but they're in, um, it's not perfect, obviously, but it looks quite good when you just see it. I started putting on like bedazzlements, there's like a butterfly here as well, that's just what I'm doing right now, because I'm waiting for my ribbon to arrive so I can do the corset at back. I did put it in front of my body while I tried it on, um, but it's hard because I can't close the back by myself, so I don't know how... Um, corset it it's gonna have to be um but this is what it looks like so far i think it looks pretty good i'm gonna use well i'm going to bedazzle now because i'm waiting for the rest to arrive so in the meantime i can just bedazzle this thing Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. You ought to see the wizards, 